Polynovo um, came out of the CSIRO in 2004 and they developed a platform technology of polyurethanes that could be made into various medical devices. Um, we've spent the time since 2004 developing uh, those products, the first of which is the BTM, uh, which is a temporizing matrix and that regenerates uh, the dermal layer of the skin, um, delivering outstanding results with minimal scarring um, to people who have been uh, burned or had trauma, uh, revision of surgery, scars, uh, white excisions, etc. Further to that, um, we're now on sale in several markets around the world, including the US, New Zealand, Australia, uh, South Africa, and soon throughout the Middle East and some markets in Southeast Asia. BTM is uh, fully developed and on sale. We are going through some clinical trials for regulatory purposes. So they're divided into two sections. One is for the CE mark uh, for Europe and Australia. And that trial is in progress. Um, and we've just added um, Royal Brisbane Women's Hospital to the trial, along with uh, Concord Hospital and Royal North Shore Hospital here in Sydney. Um, so with those combined with the Alfred, that should accelerate our, our recruitment of patients into the CMR trial. Concurrent to that, we're also um, working with the TGA on our innovative um, technology pathway to see if we can uh, qualify for an earlier CE mark um, approval under the innovation uh, technology platform. We're also developing products in the breast field um, which is a breast sling for reconstruction surgery. And we're also looking at uh, breast forms and breast coatings uh, for implants. And um, we're working with uh, a US company on uh, the development of that at this time. We're also working on hernia products. And for that, we've developed uh, three distinct uh, prototypes. Uh, we're just going through our animal trials, uh, looking at the adhesion rates of those, and then we'll progress those into um, more advanced uh, progress towards our 510k filing for hernia products next year. The BARTA program um, is split into two phases. We have the feasibility trial, uh, which is in progress. We've had one patient recruited in uh, Tampa, Florida. Uh, we're running that through three sites, which is Tampa, Memphis and Sacramento. Uh, when we conclude 10 patients, uh, we then uh, go back to the FDA um, for approval for what's called the pivotal phase of that trial, which will be over 100 patients in 20 burn centres. Uh, that's progressing very well. It's taken a long time to get uh, started with uh, patient enrolment. And that's just due to the complexity of uh, the US systems of contracts and filings, uh, but as internal mechanisms that we need to go through and uh, the hospital sites and CROs. But it's progressing very well. Uh, the highlights for the results in 17 have been, if you like, a, a steady as she goes cash burn. Uh, we're offsetting our cash burn with uh, revenue inflows, which is a small amount from sales and also from recovery of costs in running those barter trials uh, through the US uh, government funding uh, that supports that uh, trial program. So we've got a good runway going forward um, with uh, enough money in the bank uh, to be an ongoing concern for a while yet. Um, as we move into developing new products, and moving them forward, um, we'll review uh, the cash burn rate and the investment requirements as the phases go through. But we're in a very healthy position at this stage. We're fully funded at the moment and what we're looking for now is our US sales to come through. Those sales should augment um, our financial position and also fund the expansion within the US market. The focus for the next six months is very much on the commercial returns out of our existing markets, opening new markets for the BTM, um, as I outlined earlier, and um, advancing our partnerships with other companies in the development of the breast products, uh, coatings and 
uh, some other new things that we'll announce at a later time.